get overly pharisaical or anything like that. Some of us have tolerated some of this for a moment. I came across this right here and I said, okay, I, I get what they're saying because they continue to say the ooh, you see the W, there's no W they want to say. Some will say, so some say there's a V, no W, like the Kazarians. And then you have others that say, well, there's no W and there's no V, but it's a U or UU sound, as you can see in this particular meme, like right here, or it's an O sound. And they say it's Yahua. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where do you get the A from? Yahu ah, Yahu, Yahu, right? Yahu ah, Yahu ah. So, so you're saying that the the letter that some of us refer to as wow, or and others refer to as vav, right? Is actually a u u sound. Let's, let's, let's look at it right here. Okay, here they say it's actually a u u sound, right? They say there's no way for Yahweh. <laughs> And then they say, this idiot's right here, for real. Because think about for a moment. If you say, why are you laughing? Well, the Lord laughs. Mm -hmm. I mean, his spirit and his truth, we laugh as well. Some of us have tolerated this. And, you know, you know, let them do their thing. You know, let them do their thing. If they say there's no W, right, and there's no other vowel besides an A and maybe an O, and I think, is there, is there another vowel? And they misread the R in. The ain, you know, the ain. They say it's actually a, um, a I sound. They say it's an I sound because a i, a y n, because a y n. See, they don't really know Hebrew, not, and they don't have the spirit. This is the key. This is the key right here. I know there's others that might pick up on this because some of the arguments and the reasonings, and you know, some of the points that are made here or there, or people who make certain points, and they might you know, use this name and you know how we might pick up like little children. We see what the bigger children are doing and sometimes we'll emulate what they're doing until we get to know, know better and get to know the truth for ourselves. But it's not Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Because let me ask you, where you get the, where you get the second A from? Where does the second A come from? Let's just say that there's no wow. It's not wow, right? Or it's not va. Vav is the modern Hebrew. The ancient is actually wow, wow. But they say these these that push the Yahuwah, Yahuwah, right? Now, if you want to say Yahuwah, then you can say Yahuwah. But if you're going to say, well, there's no way for Yahweh. Mm, really? And you know this, and you know this how? Because of your theories. Most of these ones are struggling with English. For real, they're struggling with English. And then getting into the so-called ancient Hebrew... <laughs> See, see, they confuse themselves. They want to get into the ancient Hebrew, right? They want to talk about the ancient Hebrew. Let's put that over there. They want to talk about the ancient Hebrew, right? But they're having a lot of trouble with modern English, right? And, and reading comprehension. So, okay, let's just take that argument for a moment. They say there's no W, right, in ancient Hebrew. They say it's only the modern Hebrew with the W. No, no, it's the modern Hebrew with the V. But they say, they say, those who say, whoever, if you're one of them who say, well, then you, this is what you say, right? And if you say something different, then what are you saying? But here they're saying it's not Yahweh, right? It's not Yahweh, right? It's actually, they say, Yahuwah, right? Yahuwah, right? And this is such a, um, it's a, it's a nice, simple argument. It's a nice, simple argument. And based on its simplicity, a lot of ones and ones, you know, they basically accept it, you know, because it sounds, it sounds good. It sounds different. It sounds new. It sounds, whoa. So there's only a, it's a, it's a ooh sound. It's a ooh sound. That's what I say. It's a uu -U sound. Or it's an O O sound, and, and here's where you know that they really don't have a really uh, a ear to hear what the spirit is really saying, because they are judging this by what is written in Latin, or what they call the English. You know the English letters. They're judging by what is written in Latin. They say that well, there's no W because according to some of them, the W is really two V's. 
See, this is when you look, it's when you lost in translation. They are lost in translation. They're having trouble, many of them, with English. And they're getting into the so-called Hebrew based on the English transliterations. And now they're arguing about transliterations. No, it's, it has to be Y-A-H-U-A-H. Okay, you're saying it's Yahuwah? Where do you get the last the second A from. If you're saying that it's really a U sound with all O O sound, so you have Yahoo. Okay, I get you there. Yahoo. Remember, it's four letters. W. We say we say Y H W H. They say Y H U H. So therefore, that would be Yahoo. Yahoo. Wouldn't that be Yahoo according to the theories? Yahoo or Yahoo? Yahoo? Yahoo. Right? Was that, where did they get this Yahoo ah? Yahoo ah. Where does the second A? What is the Aleph? There's not an Aleph there. There is not an Aleph there. See, but they don't recognize they're misreading because they're caught up on their own source. Right? <laughs> they're getting high on their own supply. Right? Where does the second A come from in the Yahoo Ah? Is it is it is it is it Yod, right? Is it Yod Hey Wow or Way Aleph Hey? Where where are they getting the A sound from? Because they say there's no vowels. They 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 totally most of them. Don't deal with the vowels, the vowel pointing, the the the, the nikudot, the nikudot, the nikwetot. They they don't. That, that's not for them. They say there's only maybe two or three vowels, right? They say there's an a vowel, right? And then some say there's maybe a u vowel, and the u vowel can be a o o vowel or a o vowel. Okay. They say there's no way for Yahweh, right? And then. <laughs> Fools, fools. They say way is not a Hebrew word. Who said way was a Hebrew word? See, this 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 proves that they are coming from mistranslation. They're coming out of the English, the Western Gentile. They are half original. Maybe they are striving and hopefully they will reach the promised land in spirit and in truth. And maybe this will help by asking them where do they get the next, the second A from? Yahoo. There's none of Aleph. Look over here. They'll say, oh, oh, woo, woo, woo. This is the real Hebrew. And they'll, they'll get all caught up on ancient. And, and this is ancient. This is old. This is this is older than that. They're playing that game. And they're talking about the Bible. Ain't, ain't that something? Because the Bible actually reverses it. And in, in, in God, the true Elohim, and the true God's pattern, he reverses the whole thing. Remember, it's the older one. Right? It's not the older one that's the firstborn, according to God's will. It's actually the younger one. But they keep talking about what's old, what's the most ancient, and this is the most ancient, and this is way back, and this is the most ancient one, and this is the original one. <laughs> okay, let's look at the letters right here. Four letters, right? What they call the trans, the, the, the tetragrammaton, right? This is the transliteration, right? Y H, we say W, they say O or sometimes U, right? That's what they say. They say O or sometimes U. They say there's no V and there's no W. We could agree that in ancient or the earlier Hebrew, there was not a V sound. The sound was more of a W and an O and a U sound. But, but they don't know this because they're coming from Latin. They're coming from English, right? They're coming from... These latter day times of the Gentiles. They're coming from a Gentile state of mind. Whether they are black, brown, what have you, they're coming from a Gentile state of mind. This is why they're arguing over whether it's a U or O or a W or a V. Or saying the V, right? Double V, that's the W. And then you think about it for a moment and say, wait, if the Germans were the ones who translated the so called Jehovah name, don't they actually say the J as a Y sound? Like, ya, 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 right? And the double V, you know how the V works. 
right? As a, okay. Anyway, but see, ones who are caught up in a Western Gentile state of mind wouldn't really know that. Ones who have difficulty with English, right? And have not received the spirit of truth because if they did, they would not be saying this ridiculous stuff that they're saying. Even in this meme right here, they say, okay, shalom, shalom. Oh man, wow. Do, do they understand that the Hebrew has tenses? Do, do, do they not know? Right? Do they not know? <laughs> you know, now they say there's no... Okay, okay, let's not, let's not even go there right there. Okay, so this is, there's no way for Yahweh. Says who? Says those who put an A, note this, they put an A there. And let me ask you this. W what word is ah? What's the word ah? You say Yahoo, right? Yahoo. They say it's Yah, and then they say it's Yahoo, right? Well, where do we get the ah from? And where is the alaf, right? The alaf. They might say alaf, right? Because they only say there's one vowel. You know, they, they they stick to one vowel. And look what hypocrites they are. They say there's one vowel. If you hear them speak English, they use more than one vowel when they speak. Mm. Okay, but where do they get the a from where's the alef where's the alef in y h w h it's w y'all it's w it's w y'all it's w the w you know we could get into that we've got into that in other vids but we're asking the question right here right they said hallelujah yahuda <laughs> it's not yahuda it's yehuda it's yehuda it's not yahuda it's yehuda but but you know you know what i'm saying right Okay, over here, right? It's not Yerushalayim. No, no, no. It's Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim. Oh, but 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 they say there's not a there's not an a vowel. There's no a vowel. There's no a sound, right? And they probably say there's no e sound. There's no e sound either. Wow. They they'll tell you there's no e sound while pronouncing an e sound to tell you about ancient Hebrew. And you can tell they're struggling to even understand modern English. Huh. But let's ask this as ask this as simply as possible here. Where do they get this A from? Where does the second A come from? Who are? Who are? Who are? Who are? Where's the Aleph? So they tell you there's an Aleph here in their poor transliteration. But there is no Aleph here, right, in the um, so-called Paleo-Hebrew, Original Hebrew, Old Hebrew, rah, 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 you know? <laughs> where, where is the A? It's not Yahoo-Ah. Yahoo-Ah, who taught you this? They, they argue so much against the W, right, or the way... You know, the way sound, the way or the we, the way we sound, yeah, we, right? They'll argue so much against that. And then they'll, it's like what the Messiah says, you know, like strain their eye at a gnat and they swallow the camel. They swallow the gimel, <laughs> a gamel. Look, look at this right here. Where do they get the A from? Yahoo. Now they say Yahoo. Okay. Yahoo, y'all. I, I, I get you on that. Yahoo, y'all. That part we can even agree with. The part that we don't agree with, right, is the A-H at the end. Where do you get the A-H from? Where is the A? The H we understand. Yod, hey, way, hey, or Yod, hey, way, hey. We, we get that, right? We say it's a W, y'all say it's a U, or a O, O. It's two U's or it's two O's, y'all say, right? Okay, no problem with that. That we can, we can reason on that. We can see where you're getting that from. But where are you getting the A-H from? Yahoo, ah? Yahoo, ah? Wouldn't it make more sense directly here if this is Yahoo, right? This is Yahoo. It'll be Yahoo. It'll be Y A H U H. What's see? Because this is this is because they're not really following what they really are saying. 
right? They're arguing about something that they don't understand, right? They say there's no W, right, or no V sound. It's only in the modern Hebrew. How would they know? We can tell they don't know no ancient Hebrew. They're speculating at best, right? It's not Yahuda. It's Yehuda. It's Yehuda. But they tell you there's no Ye. There's no I. There's no Ye vowel. There's no Ye sound. They'll tell you there's no Ye sound in ancient Hebrew. And y'all believe them. Y'all will believe them. They give you no evidence. Do they speak ancient Hebrew? Were they there in ancient Hebrew times? Are they following anything that's in, what do you say? It's non-cipher. It's non-cipher. They're not, it's non-sequitur, right? We can trace from here where we're at today in this so-called modern latter-day time of the Gentile times, and we can trace all the way forward, right, to a very distant past. But they reject all that. They reject all that. They woke up one day and I guess got into the Bible and got into some Hebrew or, or started researching something or saw a video or something. And now they are experts at ancient Hebrew. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. But here's the question. First of all, it's Yahweh, right? It's Yahweh, not Yahuwah, because there's no ah. There's no ah in that sense. Where you get the alef, there's a hey. There's a hey, right? It's a he sound. It should be yahoo. So these folks, they contradict their own, their own logic. Well, it's like a three-card Monty. They get you to look over here. Look over here. Look over here. Look over here while they do the trick over there. But they probably haven't recognized that while they focus so much on the way in Yahweh, right, that they've gone away from the way, Right, and then they have a ale for ah there after the who in Yahoo ah. Where's the ah come from? Is it hua? Is wa? Is wa? Is uwa? Is uwa? It's uwa, but not wa. They don't even have decent. They could said Yahoo, Yahoo. We'll get that. We'll get that. Yahoo. But they say because they so determined, right? They're so determined <laughs> to say there's no. W or there was no W in ancient Hebrew. All of the Shemitic languages, right? The Afro-Shemitic languages have a W sound. They also have a U sound and an O sound. So we don't argue against the U and the O sound, but we're asking, where did you get the, the second A in Yahoo Ah? It should be Yahoo according to your own so-called reasoning and argument, shouldn't it? Word to the wise should be sufficient. There's always way for Yahweh. Don't listen to those who want to lead you astray from Yahweh. They're leading you astray, astray. Ah.